Hey, hello everyone. I am DJ Mustang, and today we are going to solve this try hack me machine. The machine name is Cat Picture 2, and it's quite new because it's just uh, two days old. So uh, we have already started this machine, and the uh, IP is uh, 10.10.214.12. And we are connected to the VPN with a 10.955.241. So let's start with the nmap. Uh, first of all, we'll uh, scan all the open ports. Yes. And here we go. So we got the result very quickly in just 0 0.14 seconds. And uh, first uh, port is uh, we'll, we'll target this HTTP service first. And also, we'll start the enumeration by the time uh, SS, then uh, SV, then SC. Okay. So we have one port for the enumeration. This IP is 10.10.214 and port 80. So I'm able to see one cat. The cat is very cute. Okay, there are uh, not just a one. There are multiple cats are there. So let's uh, open the cat picture. What is this? She's staring at us, maybe. So uh, I'm able to see some share. Okay, is it? No, it's. We are not able to uh, copy this thing. Okay direct link we have okay directly opened in new tab okay next what what we have this information okay so first clue we got it uh, note to self strip metadata so and what is this full photo nothing else so we'll do one thing we'll uh, copy this thing and uh, we'll keep a copy of uh, same picture on the local host so we got the copy of the same image file uh, this is the image file we have will quickly uh, uh, strip the metadata with the exif tool exif tool is basically uh, inbuilt uh, tool uh, which comes in the uh, Kali so just exif tool and the picture uh, name so once you uh, click enter you will uh, see all the metadata so now i am able to see the metadata and inside the metadata i am able to see something uh, juicy so that is a uh, port number 8080 and some random file is there uh, it's a text file basically so we'll go here we'll just put the path over here and we'll see what is this so uh, here we got the credentials of git t uh, which is uh, uh, running on the port number 3000 so we'll go here and we'll say 3000 yep so it's a user and the password will quickly go here and uh, log in into the application with the given uh, credentials and we got the password okay just sign in and what else they are saying over here ansible runner is available on the port 1337 there this ansible is running on port 1337 lead port very quickly check so here is a uh, dashboard i guess to run the ansible files we'll quickly check what kind of ansible file they are talking about uh, okay ansible then what okay so first we got the flag if you click over here you will get the flag okay great the next what they are saying yaml uh, playbook.yaml so it's an ansible file definitely and what they are running over here name test host all okay then uh, remote user is uh, this one uh, then what 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 over here i'm able to see something uh, they are directly running the command over here so we'll do one thing we'll uh, you know uh, paste our reverse shell over here and we'll uh, start the uh, reverse connection so for that we'll quickly search the 
reverse shell github maybe okay we got the shell bash bash tcp yeah this is looking good so we'll do one thing we'll copy this thing we'll first uh, start the listener on uh, 7777 and uh, we'll change the ansible file okay here is the edit button and uh, command yes bash c we'll quickly paste it and instead of 4242 we'll say 7777 and our local ip address is uh, 10955 it's 241 yes 10955 uh, we'll quickly go down we'll commit the changes and we'll uh, run the sensible file okay so we got the shell and now we got the second flag over here okay we have a read permission we can read this file but this shell is very unstable if you uh, you know run any command it will uh, stuck in between it will hang up for no reason so uh, what we'll do uh, we'll going to enter into the ssh folder ssh and uh, we'll read the private key id rsa and we'll copy this uh, private key and we'll log in with the ssh copy and on our local machine we'll say nano key control shift v and we have a key on our local machine with this with the help of this key we'll uh, log in into the ssh we'll clear it out and we'll change the permission with the 600 key now we'll log in to the log into the uh, this username which is bismuth and the ip address 10 uh, what was that 10 10 to 14 dot 12 10 10 to 14 12 and our key insert Okay, sorry and key yes okay so we got the shell ssh connection uh, ssh shell um, who am I it's uh, Bismuth obviously ID is 1000 now um, as we know we got the second flag now we are heading for the uh, the, the for third flag which is obviously a uh, root flag so we'll go to the temp folder actually i ran uh, linpeace.sh but there were there were so many confusions and uh, because of that um, i end up with this uh, lse script which i have downloaded on my local machine it's basically a Linux exploitation suggester uh, dot sh. So I'll uh, mention the link link in the description. So what we'll do? We'll start the Python server. Python 3m. Okay, 9999. Great. So we'll uh, this is this is the shell. Okay, we are on the SSH shell. Now uh, we'll say wget and uh, the shell uh, the linux uh, exploit suggested file that is uh, http uh, 10 9 5 5 241 and uh, the uh, port number is 9999 and the les.sh script so we got the script we will quickly change the permission uh, to 777.sh and now we are good to go bash les.sh so we got uh, some suggestion from the lea script and the first suggestion is is uh, pawn kit it's basically policy kit 
I have tried this uh, policy kit exploit which was not working so I moved to this one uh, CVE 2021 uh, pseudo baron uh, same uh, Sam edit so we'll quickly copy this thing and uh, we'll check for the exploits github okay so captain gibbon okay this is the good exploit so we'll do one thing we'll git clone this uh, whole uh, folder we'll go to the our local host say git clone and the uh, link we got the uh, exploit on our local machine this is the exploit so now we'll uh, copy this whole folder on our remote machine so for that you have to use r switch r is for recursive and the uh, http 10955.241 and 9999.9 port and obviously the folder name that is uh, where is the folder name okay cv2021 3156 uh, that's it okay now we are good to go i guess okay we got the file over here we just have to go inside this folder cd and then okay cve then we got the exploit now we just have to uh, type just two commands make now we got the exploit okay exploit exploit binary yes we got the exploit binary uh, we'll see yes we got the exploit binary now just uh, run this exploit binary and we got the shell and we are root so uh, now we can okay so now we got the third flag and we have a permission to read so we have successfully rooted this machine so um, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day